I am not in the mood for you flickers. What's good, Power Director peeps? It's Saturday, and today I'm going to show you how to do the flicker effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The flicker effect is used to make a neon sign or anything you can think of flicker. It's a cool effect that can be used in any video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the flicker effect for your videos. Let's get those flickers. First, you want to bring your background image or video to the top timeline track. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse over the clip that I want to use and I'm going to drag it down to track one. Next, you want to add the image or video of the object that you want to flicker. Now you want to add that underneath your background. So I'm going to left click on this, hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to drag this to track two, which is underneath the background. If you need to resize or reposition the object, you can use the nodes, hold down your left mouse. Once you see a line with two arrows and you can resize it. You can hold your mouse over the image until you see the crosshairs, hold on your left mouse and move it. Or if you need to rotate it, you can place your mouse over the blue circle and hold it down and you can rotate it. I'm going to bring this back to its regular position because it was just fine. If you're using any audio, like for the neon sign, electrical hum or anything like that, you need to bring that down into a timeline track as well. So let's left click on this audio. I'm going to drag it down to track three. Now I'm going to trim this down to size. It really doesn't matter how I trim this because it's just the same sound throughout. And I'm just going to split this here. I'm going to left click on the end. I'm going to click on the trash bin. It'll get rid of it. And then I can trim this down to match the length or the duration of the other two objects. So now I have the audio that I want and I have the background and I have the word coffee shop that I want to flicker. We want to create splits where we want to keep and remove the word coffee shop. Once we remove some of the sections we create, it'll make it look like the word coffee shop is flickering. So you want to move your playhead to where you want the flicker to begin. You want to left click on the object that you want to flicker and you want to hold down your control key and left click on your audio. The reason why is because you want your splits to be identical here because Whenever the object is not on screen, there shouldn't be sound. So the sound should be flickering along with the words coffee shop. Once you get both of those selected, you can do control T on your keyboard and it will split the clip. Then you want to move your playhead forward two frames. And you can use the split icon or once again, you can do control T. You want to keep doing this until you feel you have enough sections to create the flicker. So once you have all of your splits done, you want to select all of the clips that you want to remove. So select the first section that you want to remove, hold down your control key, and then you can select the audio. You want to leave a gap. So leave this one visible and you want to remove the next one after it as well as the audio underneath it. Now, once you have all of the clips selected that you want to remove, you can go ahead and hit the trash bin and then select remove and leave gap. This will leave those gaps in between where all of these items are being removed, which will help to create the look and the sound of the flicker. Then you can press the home key on your keyboard to go back to the beginning 
and you can press the space key on your keyboard to play. We got some flicker going on. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.